What's up, guys? This is Tanner from MC Podcast, aka Meta Culture, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over the second episode of Tower of God. And just so you guys know, I'm still super hyped for this anime. Um, I'm so glad that it's released now, and I'm getting to see a lot of this because I've been waiting so long for this animated. Um, but all in all, uh, the first few episodes obviously are laying the groundwork for the characters, for the world building. And just a lot of, uh, of these people are kind of important cast later on. Um, obviously, you guys have the original people that he was with, and he's obviously going to meet them, uh, meet up with them later. Um, but right now, they're kind of focusing on you know Bam going through you know his training and kind of going up the tower as kind of solo until he catches up with the rest of his group. Um, but either way, you meet a lot of new characters in this. Um, some good, some bad. Um, obviously, you have this kid named Prince who has a bunch of bodyguards. He's super rich. And you also have a bunch of these side characters who are pretty important, actually, throughout the season. Um, but all in all, kind of the test for this this 20th floor is essentially a physical test, which obviously is the perfect setup for my boy Bam. Um, either way, um, everybody goes through these rounds acting like tough shit. Um, you know, scoring high marks and, you know, basically talking shit to the people who really can't do much, which, which is stupid, but, uh, all in all, uh, Bam kind of rolls up and, and blows everybody out of the water. I mean, when they come to scoring, he passed them by over a hundred thousand. I mean, people were scoring in the thousands up to like 20 K and this dude scored like 136,000. Um, which is crazy. Um, and the, the most important part of this is kind of showing Bam, Bam doesn't really say much um, up until uh, later on in the episode where he kind of shows everybody what the hell he can do. And basically the whole twist in this floor is that it wasn't the top uh, eight scores that got chosen for the test. It was the top score gets to choose seven other people. And um, this kind of shows um, where these characters kind of come up and really ask to be a part of his team. And it shows how much of a drive they want to really climb the tower. And... Either way, uh, Bam kind of just says no. Um, he's like, I don't need any of these people. Um, they are my enemies. Like, the main point of this was that to show what Fug was and kind of explain what he is, which he's a Fug Slayer candidate. Um, and they're kind of like a syndicate where um, they want to kill the Jihad and the family um, just because they want to upset the tower and kind of change the, the power um, hierarchy of the tower. And, but he just says, I don't need any of you guys. You're basically my enemies. Like, they're all families of um, one of the ten great families. Um, he just says no one's kind of adequate enough to be a part of him just because of what he is. And the, kind of, the, I think the subliminal message behind this is that Bam isn't actually like that. We know his story. Um, we know who he is. And he's kind of just pushing them away, pushing them back so he doesn't get involved with him. Um, and uh, he's kind of going under the alias of Juvial uh, Grace, which is... Um, uh, just kind of just an ally. It's just so people don't really know who Bam is, and especially being a Fug Slayer, you don't want people to know who you really are. Um, but all in all, uh, the Proctor really notices um, and dislikes Fug, obviously, because they're trying to upset the tower. So he's actually going to um, set up a game, quote unquote, before the actual test, which basically means this dude's trying to root out Bam and try to get him the fuck out of there. But, um,. Just get excited for this next episode because the 1 and 2 was kind of laying the groundwork for the characters, the world building, and all that. So um, this next episode, there's going to be some hands, and it's going to dive more into the test rather than, you know, introducing characters and setting everything up. So b b anyways, be ready to, you know, finally get involved in the season and get hyped up because this is really where it takes off. I'm super excited to see how they do this animation and these fights, um, just because of how cool Bam looked and how much they accentuated his abilities and all that. And we really get to see how much he's trained, given how long his hair is, because that's been how long he's been training for. Um, and we'll really get to see what Bam gets to do. Um, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be hyped for episode 3 and you know the continuation of this series, um, just as much as I am. Um, but yeah, MC Podcast, this is Tanner. We out.